let's imagine that or draw that. So when love pressure increase, this will cause what stimulation of baro sectors the baro sectors are the sensors and they are found as we have said in bifurcation of carotid arteries or aorta and these will send signals to the integrating center integrating center in medulla oblongata And the center here will send an inhibitory signals to the heart to cause what decrease in heart rate, decrease in heart rate so when heart rate decreases the blood pressure will also decrease this is a good example about the negative feedback mechanism let's recall again when blood pressure increases so this will cause the stimulation of baroreceptors or sensors in the what large arteries like carotid artery and aorta the centers here or sensors will send information or signals to integrating center the cardiac center in medulla oblongata and the later will send inhibitory inhibitory signals to the heart to cause decrease in heart rate so when heart rate decreases so the blood pressure will also decrease and vice versa vice versa is also true when blood pressure decrease decrease this will stimulate viral receptors also and they will send signals to integrating center and this will stimulate the heart to increase the heart rate to increase the heart rate so you can see here from the same example that Negative does not mean only decrease. Does not mean only decrease. And in this example, first we see that heart rate will be decreased. But if blood pressure is decreased, so this will cause stimulation of receptors or sensor, and they will send signals to the integrating center of the lumbar This will cause what sending activated or activating signals to the heart to cause what increase the heart rate increase the heart rate so in this case the negative feedback did not mean decrease heart rate but instead increase heart rate so what is the exact meaning of negative feedback the exact meaning is opposition, opposition of the initial action of the stimulus. In the first example here, the blood pressure was increased. This is the initial stimulus or action. And the response was decreased heart rate, opposition of initial stimulus. And in second example, this was the initial stimulus which is the blood pressure decrement and 
the result was an increase in heart rate, which is opposition of the initial stimulus. This was the real meaning of negative feedback by which all the organs of the body cooperate and function together to keep constant homeostasis of internal environment. <coughs> we have another example about what is called positive feedback mechanism, not negative. We have to recall and to remind always that the homeostasis is majorly done by negative feedback. But what about the positive feedback mechanism? In fact, positive feedback mechanism is not needed by the body. In all cases, why is that? Because positive feedback means an increase, an increase the action, not like the negative feedback. But it is needed in some situations. For example, in case of parturition, in case of parturition, when there is the pressure of the head of the baby on cervix. Cervix. Cervix of the uterus. So during parturition, there will be contractions, contractions of the uterine walls of the uterus of the mother. So when the head of baby press on the walls of the cervix, this will cause positive feedback like that. This pressure will cause positive feedback on the wall of the what? On the walls of the uterus itself to cause additional more contractions. Why is that? Because here in this situation we need oh sorry, the body needs the excessive contraction to cause what? To cause expelling or pushing of the baby to outside of the body. And as soon as the baby is being delivered, as soon as the baby is being delivered, there will be action of negative feedback. Because without negative feedback, the excessive contractions which are caused by positive feedback will cause rupture, will cause rupture of the uterine wall. This was the all for the explanation of homeostasis in our lecture today. Thank you so much for your listening and see you in the next lectures.